honeys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's going to be a little bit different i'm going to be explaining to you guys what on fleek box is so here is the box let me show you um, so this is what it looks like and then once you open it you get four pairs of lashes And it's really cute because on right here It has like a little message that says caution lashes in this box will make you look hotter than you appear hmm. We'll wait <laughs> I mean we all know that lashes you know, you can have the most simplest eyeshadow and you just pop on a lash and it just makes like your entire makeup look. So I did get reached out by this company and they sent this out to me personally. Still, I am going to give you guys my 100% honest opinion and if I think it's worth it. Before we actually do jump in, um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell to turn on your post notifications. So that just means every time that I upload a new video, you will get notified. Like I mentioned, I did get this sent out to me and I did play with one pair, which they are called Goddess. Now, if you have not seen my previous video that I just uploaded on a Thanksgiving glam I will link it here for you guys check that video out I did apply goddess but I'm still gonna apply it here um quick disclaimer on that lash style I have worn it twice so I forgot to clean them so don't judge me <laughs> so what this box is you guys if you guys are subscribed to boxycharm it's kind of the same concept so you pay $20 a month for um, a box and you get a box every single month um, and every box should be different with different lash styles which I think personally is kind of a good idea, you know, because if you go to like Sephora or you go to like Ulta and you buy a pair of lashes, even Lily lashes, you know, those can go up, can be up to $40 a pair. Not saying that all of them run $40. And then at Ulta, I feel like they run for like $10 and up, you know, the really nice mink style lashes. So I'm currently on their website and I'm just reading because once again, I am new to this as well. It says you'll receive a variety of different lashes ranging from dramatic volume to wispy and fluffy. Um, their lashes are designed a specific arches angle shapes and they are 3d volume that would completely elevate and redefine your face in ways that even makeup can never really create this effect so yeah i mean it's kind of what i was saying earlier um if you don't have a lash after you apply some bomb mess eyeshadow it's just not the same <laughs> okay so it looks like they are made with only the finest mink and faux mink hair our lashes were created not only for comfort but also for longevity if treated with proper care, you can use each pair up to 25 applications. Um, so in case anybody is interested or wanted to know that. Um, and also the subscription, you guys, you can cancel at any time. I don't have any eyeshadow. I didn't apply no wing liner or anything because I really want you guys to really see the style, the different styles on my eye shape. Um, so I don't know how to describe my eye shape. I know that my eyes are not big, but they're not small either. Um, I feel like I have a lot of lid space. Um, I would say that they're kind of almondy. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Help a girl out down in the comments. And what do you think? What kind of eye shape do you think I have? They also claim that it has a very nice, um, comfortable um, band. Um, so I actually will agree with them or with the goddess. And the band did not bother me at all. Um, so let's go ahead and put on goddess since we're talking about this style so much. And what's really cool about this too is that they have the names right in front. Um, when it comes to lashes, like in a little box, um, for me personally, I don't know what it is, but I don't like trying to look for the name. And sometimes it's like really little and you're like, really though? Like you couldn't make it any bigger? <laughs> like I hate that. When it comes with the lashes, I really want to see the name. So I really appreciate that you have it right here. The only thing is though, I am so bad too that I always throw the plastic containers away even the fancy boxes i throw them away which i'm really bad at and i'm going to get better um i do have a lash book but i just need to buy a label maker so i don't forget you know and i'm gonna put it up really close so you guys can see oh my gosh wait pause so i just got my nails done with my girl erica you guys these are my natural nails like look how except for this one though this one um was too short so we had to add a gel x nail um but other than that all of them are my natural nails. This is gel. And this is gel. Is it gel? No. Shellac. This is shellac. Okay. Anyways, back to the lashes. So here we have a goddess. Um, so they're really fluffy. I love them because they don't look plasticky. You know what I mean? Like they don't look as thick. 
um, I really really love a really good pair of lashes like this and I also like how it's short but it also goes long from the outer corner but the band also is super comfortable um, I also notice when it's a really good lash and you can remove the glue off the band that just means it's a really good quality eyelash I hate using lashes where I have the glue and I want to take it off and then all of a sudden it starts to fall apart I hate that but I do have mascara already on so all we have to do is just pop on the lashes so the glue I'm using is duo and it's just the um, clear one um, it just has the green writing on the bottle Ooh, hello <laughs> I just had to cut the inner and outer corners of the lash because they were like sticking out which is which you guys are gonna see in the other lash styles and a good tip you guys when applying falsies um, you want to make sure that the glue is a little bit tacky so that when you do apply it, it sticks on better. When the glue is still wet, um, it can slide, slip and slide everywhere and it's just going to make it a harder application for you. So here we have the Style Goddess. As you can tell right away, it makes such a huge difference when you apply lashes. I feel like I look more awake and I'm ready to conquer and take on my day. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this eye with no lashes and then you let go of this one and it's like boom hey i'm ready to slay hey hey <laughs> What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. But I personally really love a lash style like this. Like they're not super long from the um, like inner corners. I like my lashes to be short and then like full. Um, but I mean, I'm not mad at this style. I feel like I like how it just extends outwards and it really opens up my eye a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so I feel like I really, really love, love, love this pair. Okay, so the next style I'm going to go into is called Heartbreaker. Here is Heartbreaker. Now, this is normally a style that I would definitely not gravitate to. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I too long. You know what I mean? Like maybe if, the, if it was shorter, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with it because I like a full lash like this, um, but I like them to be a little bit shorter. Um, so we definitely have to cut the little um, sticks that are sticking out of this lash, as you guys can see right here. Okay, so here it goes. I'm going to apply this. So here we have Heartbreaker. So my thoughts, you guys, right away. Um, isn't it kind of weird? Because so in La Cajita, it looks like it's just one length. But then once you have it on, it's so crazy. Okay, so I used to have lash extensions, like I'm gonna say like almost two years ago or a year ago. I think it was like a year ago. And they seriously remind me of how I used to have my lash extensions. They're, ob they're obviously, the style is longer towards the outer corners um, and it looks more wispier, right? Or am I tripping? I feel like this lash looks wispy, but it doesn't look, no. Like it doesn't look ugly. Do you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, okay. So let's put on the second one. Because look, so when it's right here, it just looks straight. It looks straight all one length. Okay, so here we have both of the lashes on. Honestly, I'm not that mad at the lash, to be honest. Um, is it my favorite? No, but I feel like if I didn't have another pair to wear out, then this is definitely one that I would be like, okay, I think I will, I'm gonna look a little decent. Um, definitely if you have really small eyes, this would not be a good style for you. I feel like this, a, a girl who does have maybe my eye shape or a little bit bigger, I feel like you can definitely pull it off. But somebody who does have a small, <laughs> smaller eyes, like my sister, she has the most tiniest eyes. I feel like this would definitely make her look like, you know, <laughs> like she's gonna fly away. Okay, next we have the style called Flawless. So this one's definitely more natural than the last pair that I just shown you guys. So here we have Flawless. Um, I think this style is really pretty. It's wispy. It looks really soft and the band looks really comfortable too. So I'm really excited to see what this kind of looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go into the style called Flawless and I'm gonna apply them and see. See. Um, so this one's definitely more natural, definitely a style that I would probably wear when I'm wearing makeup like this. And I just want to pop on a quick, simple lash. Um, this is definitely more on the wispy side. Um, and I could definitely see girls that I know personally who would wear something like this. Like something wispy, but yet nothing too like, oh my gosh. Like, like the last um, eyelashes that we tried on, this one's definitely more on the natural side.
side. Okay, so here we have both of the lashes on. So yeah, you guys, I think it's really, they're really pretty, they're natural, more simple, um, but yet wispy at the same time. So I actually really like this pair. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna take these off and we're gonna try on our last pair, which are really dramatic and I'm curious to see. So I will be right back. So this next pair that we have is called Sugar Mama. So right off the bat, um, they kind of remind me of Heartbreaker, but less full. So here is what that one looks like. So Sugar Mama, and let me take out Heartbreaker for you guys. Okay, so here we have Heartbreaker, which is the pair that we just tried on, which is this one right here. And then this is the other, the new one, Sugar Mama. So right, don't they kind of look the same? except less full, I feel like. All right, let's apply Sugar Mama. Another thing you guys that I've actually noticed about these lashes is that they're super easy to apply. What do you guys think? I personally feel like they are too long, um, but they are pretty. Um, it's definitely not a pair, I don't know, or I don't know. Oh. Definitely a pair that I can pull off, but I, again, I feel like for somebody who has really small eyes, um, they're gonna have a really hard time with this with this type of lash style because they're just so, so long. Um, but I feel like it looks really pretty as well. I feel like if you are a girl that loves full, long lashes <laughs> like this, or like any of the other pairs that I just mentioned, um, then I feel like you would really, really enjoy these. No es tan feas, I feel like these are also really, really pretty, um, but I just, again, feel like people who have small eyes would definitely not like this. All right, guys, so I went ahead and tried on all of the lash pair. My favorite would definitely have to be Goddess in Flawless. Um, this one, Sugar Mama, is definitely my least favorite, but I'm not, I'm still not mad at the style. Um, Heartbreaker, I was definitely blown away because when you look at it, you're like, whoa, like those are full, long, and like, I don't know. Um, but once you put them on, I wasn't, I wasn't that mad at it. And then when I took a selfie, it looked pretty good. <laughs> Um, so I would say Goddess, Heartbreaker, and Flawless are definitely my favorites. Kind of makes me think that people who do have smaller eyes are going to um, have a really hard time, I feel like, um, versus somebody who does have more of an almond shape or a bigger eye shape like this, um, who can pull off, you know, longer and thicker lashes. Um, so I'm definitely gonna leave that up to you. Um, for me personally, I feel like they all fit my eye shape pretty well. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I love the excitement of getting a new box um, and seeing what lashes are in there. <laughs> um, and who knows, you might end up finding like a good, a good pair like this one. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was really helpful, please let me know down in the comments. I love you guys so much. Besitos, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. You want to say bye? Say bye. Do you want to say bye? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs>